Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Stone and this is the first of several PowerPoints that I will be showing you on the skills of science. Today we're going to talk about observation and how to observe something. What is observing? Observing is using one or more of your senses sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch to gather information about your world. For example, we all know that we have blackboards in our, in our classrooms, we hear bells ring, we can smell smoke, we can taste whether a piece of fruit is sour or sweet, and we can feel the smooth desktop. These are all observations. Making and recording observations is, almost, is the most basic skill in science. Observations result in gathering information. When we gather this information, it is called evidence. There are two types of observations. The first one is qualitative. A qualitative observation is basically just describing what you're seeing or describing what you're feeling or describing what you're hearing. So shape, size, color, smell, texture, how loud it is, how soft it is, um, things of that nature are qualitative observations. The other type of observation is quantitative. How much of it do we have? How can we measure it? So quantitative observation involves measuring and using numbers to describe what's going on with a particular object we're looking at. An example of qualitative observation would be looking at our classroom walls. Our classroom walls are green. We could describe what we see, we can describe what we observe, the walls are green. We can also describe how many children might be in a classroom. And depending on which class you're in, there are between 27 and 29 kids in your class. In my classroom, there are 15 student tables. And we know that. That is a quantitative observation. We also know that the blackboard is black. We call it a blackboard because it's black, but you can have blackboard, have uh, chalkboards that are green. You can have whiteboards. So you're describing what you observe about that board when you describe its color. In science, observations are usually followed by attempted explanations, also known as inferences. We're going to talk about inferences in the next video. When scientists make inferences from observations, however, they're keeping the two processes separate. That's, this means that you're looking at something and you're observing it and you're describing it and you're talking about how much of it there is or what it looks like. You're just making that statement where, as opposed to an inference where you are actually using prior knowledge, what you know or don't know about the situation to decide what is actually going on in that particular situation and in what you are actually observing. A few tips for making observations. You use the senses, sight, hearing, touch, and smell to make qualitative observations. When we are observing anything, or at any time when you're observing anything, for safety's sake, please don't taste an unknown substance. We never want to put anything in our mouths that we're not sure what it is. You want to review your observations to make sure they're accurate and objective. What are you really looking at? Do you know how wide something is? Have you measured it to get the accurate information? Are you sure that what you're looking at is a tree or is it something else? Whenever possible, count or use instruments to make quantitative observations. We're going to learn in class how to use uh, measuring tools to determine how much we have of something, to make a quantitative analysis of what we're, what we're working with. If there are no tools available to make measurements, try to estimate common quantities by referring to known standards. Um, we know how much a paper clip 
weighs, a paper clip weighs about one gram. So you could use paper clips to weigh certain things to get a feel for how many grams a particular object weighs or the mass of that particular object based on knowing how much a paper clip weighs. Okay, now we're going to do a little experiment here. We are going to look at a video. There is no sound. This is a video of uh, several scenes with different animals. And I want you to just tell me what you see. I want you to look at it and you can repeat the video uh, as many times as you'd like to look at it. See what, just tell me what you think you see in the picture. What do you see? What do you observe? Okay, you've watched the video, you observed the various animals doing different things. If you need to watch it again, please do. We're going to stop now and we're going to make a list, two lists, qualitative, things that we saw that we could describe uh, what was going on in the various scenes, and quantitative, things that we can measure, that we can attach numbers to. So let's stop at this time and take care of that and, and then we'll discuss.